Welcome to our first video. <laughs> So for our September trip, we happened to overlap with our five-year anniversary. Um, so we took our trip down to the Keys. Yeah, that's where we spent our honeymoon five years ago. Um, and we decided to kind of do a remake, as best as we could, <laughs> per se, um, of our trip to the Keys. So, yeah, so we started the drive. I think all the way down there was a... 12 hour mm -hmm. drive to our first where we ended up stopping mm -hmm. yeah we drove all the way from raleigh north carolina to key largo um which is that upper part of the keys um and we really just wanted to to be like a a stop along the very long drive <laughs> yeah that way we didn't have to make the whole you know 14 15 hour drive in one go yeah so we decided once we get to the keys we're just gonna we're just gonna stop and camp yeah we like got there, set up our tent, went to the gro or no, we got dinner and like went to the grocery store and then came back and like, you know, had some beers, playing some card games and like went to sleep. And then went to sleep, yeah. Drive yeah, driving just, that long takes it out of you. Yeah. You wanna go to bed. And we kinda of forgot how hot and sticky and humid it was gonna be because the weather had just gotten chilly here in North Carolina. Yeah, it had just gotten to about in the 60s. It yeah. was nice. Like, we left and I was wearing, like, a sweater and some leggings, and we hit, like, Georgia, and I was like, what? That was a yeah, terrible life decision. Yeah, it was in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this time around, we did not use the camper. We just tent camped, and we're like, yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, and it wasn't too bad. It was just hot at night. You didn't have to sleep with any blankets or anything no. on. No. We didn't even sleep with a rain fly on. We just took that off because yeah. there was no chance of rain. And <laughs> I thought it was it was really funny. To me, I thought it was really funny because, like, we're sleeping on our sleeping pads, which are the, we use these behind us. And um, Thomas, like, had rolled closer to me, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> please don't. <laughs> I kept pushing him away because he was, like, hot and, and sweaty and gross, and I was hot and sweaty and gross, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the next day I was really excited so I'm um, people that know me very well know that I love to paddle <laughs> and um the same thing happened five years ago like but five years ago we brought our step boards our sand paddle boards and we drove them all the way down to the keys and we had one good paddling day mm -hmm. and it was in Key Largo um, same thing freaking happened again, <laughs> but we decided this time we really, we looked closer at the wind and it was just going to be super windy the entire rest of the trip, mm -hmm. but that one day in Key Largo. So we decided to rent some boards. Yeah. 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 So we found, we found a local place nearby. Um, we went to them right as they opened. Um, we got so, the last two. Yeah, we boards. got the last two boards uh, <laughs> that, that that they had. So it was a good thing we got there mm -hmm. right as they opened. Yeah. Um, so we just threw them on top of our truck and we drove to what was where, where did we go again? John Pennycamp. John Pennycamp. Yeah. yeah. Do we need to go this far? You gotta get low. great paddle though we, we really mm -hmm. had a good paddle but afterwards we were like let's get some dinner or lunch sorry let's get some lunch and um maybe snorkel some before we have to return the boards and then we were going to drive down to our next location that we were going to camp at which was uh long key and we we didn't have a great experience yeah it wasn't it, it wasn't too good no. <laughs> Yeah, we, we would... like, we like sat down and ha tried to have a nice relaxing picnic, and then this family right near us was like blasting music. Like not just kind of loud where you can you can hear it a little bit, but no, this this was loud enough for the whole state park to okay. hear it, and it was right behind us. And we were just like, we just want to get in the water yeah. and snorkel and swim and like try and turn this day around. 
Then we drove to Long Key. <laughs> yeah. Then we drove to the we drove to the state park. Uh, we checked in. The campsite that we were going to stay at uh, was a was a walk in campground, uh, which wasn't bad at all. It was what just a couple hundred yards yeah. to our campground. It is not bad. Yeah. So we pulled in and we went to go check it out and then go check out the beach because we figured at least there we'd be away from some people. We could relax on the beach um, and have have a good time, mainly just away from people after having that that experience. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were really kind of picturing what we had experienced um, five years ago at another kind of like beachfront um, campsite. And it was not what we expected. And it wasn't really the photos that we saw either. Um, yeah, I think the I think the photos that were online, um, you know, they're it's it was on a, you know the the photos are from a government website so it's not made to look extravagant or whatnot but I think they were just old pictures from before there was a hurricane that came through a few years ago that really oh, no. really mm-hmm. hurt the area mm-hmm. um, and I think those photos were from before the hurricane so if you ever go to Long Key and you're looking at the walk-in campgrounds and see the pictures there it looks beautiful white sand beaches that is not the case anymore mm-hmm. um, and we even like we tried to make best of the situation there's like a trail right there and we walked further down the trail and tried to find a beach and then it just it just wasn't happening yeah so the the park just ended up being not what we expected at all Mm -hmm. um and after the the like kind of rough day that we'd already had the last thing we wanted to do was stay at a campsite where we couldn't even relax under a tent the winds were you know 20 plus miles an hour it was supposed to rain the entire yeah. next day. Well, and really, we were just trying to convince ourselves that it was okay yeah. <laughs> to just go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, so then we just started We started looking around for different hotels. Um, and, and I was really wanting a resort. Yeah, then you really wanted a resort. So we started looking around to see what was around. Oh, we're going to stay at this place called Isla Bella. And I like had seen photos, and I was like... <laughs> we were gonna stay there. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you positive? <laughs> and we we pull up to this place, and it's um. It already is like feels so secluded because they had, and it's fairly new. I think it just opened up like it last was last year, year. yeah. Uh, so like just 2019, and these the the way they've designed it, it is just it feels makes you feel so secluded. Mm-hmm. Like you're on this own little island, um, and you pull up to the lobby, <laughs> and it's like this beautiful kind of Caribbean Spanish inspired. Mm-hmm building and it's like by itself and you walk in and you can just tell the the design there was a lot of um it was just super cool yeah (laughs) super pretty (laughs) (laughs) it was definitely a huge step above camping in the the sweaty humid heat (laughs) yeah and like the staff was super nice and um thomas booked us a room with a veranda (laughs) Y'all. <laughs> it was so nice. Our room was like right there. And like you open the doors and it's like beach. And you can see the water. Because we're still on the keys, there's like mangroves and stuff. You can't just like walk out into the water. But there is the sunset pier. Or no, excuse me. The sunrise pier. was right there in front of us as mm-hmm. well. <sighs> yeah, It was literally everything that we needed after... Yeah. All of that. All of that. It was so relaxing. So relaxing. <laughs> it was a beautiful hotel. But the next day, we decided to go to Bahia Honda State Park. Mm-hmm. It was it was sunny. It was clear. Um, but it was in the, but the current was moving really fast. Mm-hmm. But we didn't care at this point. We just wanted yeah. to go swimming. Um, so we we quickly picked up some snorkel gear a couple of days prior, just a just a mask. Um, and then we, we hopped in the water and just got some awesome snorkeling in. Yeah. And the current was really, really strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was even hard to stand in one place. It was so strong. So we yeah. ended up just after trying to swim in one place and it was just too much work. We ended up just walking down the beach, jumping in the water and then just let the current take us as yeah. we were snorkeling along. And that, that really worked out yeah. the best. And the water, like the, the color of the water is just so unreal. It's literally like this color. That has to be the reason why they chose the color of this hat. Because it's just super 
like turquoisey blue mm -hmm. and then like right behind it is this deep water like deep beautiful blue color and it's exactly what we've been wanting since we got to the keys is just this this water yeah um and it was it was so cool snorkeling i'm not a huge snorkeler but i i love just like floating on the water and just mm -hmm. <laughs> just that drift and then seeing all these different little fish and stuff and we're like underwater like Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah, seeing all the different size and shapes and color fish yeah. that were underneath was really, really was cool. Really cool. It's, it's exactly what we wanted. Yeah. It was awesome. All right, so Bahia Honda is on the other side of the Seven Mile Bridge. Just like a little, it's not a huge drive, but just on the other side of it. And while... Probably about seven miles. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> while we were heading back to the hotel... <laughs> From Bahia Honda, you can just see this, like, wall of rain, mm -hmm. and it just beats the crap out of us. Yeah. Um, and we, get, we like, run back to our hotel room, and we hung out there for a little bit um, before we decided that, like, we really needed something to eat. <laughs> um, so we got ready, and we went to Sunset Grill. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, which was really cool because it's right there at the Seven Mile Bridge. So, yeah. like, Isla Bella is here. Sunset Grill is, like, further down this, this like, service road. And then it's just bridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just bridge and ocean is all you see. It's awesome. It's really cool. So, if you decide to go camping um, in the Keys, we definitely recommend John Pennycamp State Park, which is up in Key Largo. And then we recommend Curry Hammock yeah. State Park. Both of the locations that we camped at five years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta you gotta book early for those places because mm -hmm. we we tried to get them this time, but they were they were sold out. Yeah. So pretty much we once the campsites out. go on sale, I think it's like almost a year out. I think just go ahead and snag just it go ahead. if you can. But it's it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Those those are some beautiful places to camp. Yeah. Key West. <laughs> <laughs> 